armies that fight each other is like one large army that commits suicide, said Henry Barbus. Born on 17th May 1873 in France, died on 30th August 1935 in Moscow in Russia, was a French novelist and member of the French Communist Party. He was a long-time friend of Albert Einstein. He was very close to Albert Einstein. He said, two armies that fight each other is like one large army that commits suicide. It's almost like cannibalism. Two and two large armies fight like India and Pakistan fight. And in that fight, who dies? From the Pakistan said people die and from the Indian said people die. And both the people belongs to whom? To one motherland, Bharata Desh. And that death, this is not cannibalism. Cannibalism was practiced long back that they make two armies to fight when they are hungry. So that the first death when they happen, the fight stops. And they cut that person into pieces and both the people eat it up. The difference between the previous cannibalism and the present cannibalism is two armies are fighting so that instead of taking the dead body, they try to eat the money which they make out of the, the defense money. Henry Barbus is a two armies that fight each other. Like a husband and wife and they fight each other. Cannibalism is happening in the house. Husband and wife, their duty is to discuss. And there is no discussion, just sitting bump to bump. And their only duty is to hug and kiss and nothing more than that. And things happen of its own. Then you can find there is no fight or hatred. The moment they start talking, nonsense builds up. And two armies fighting each other like one large army. They too become one large army. And in between the children suffer. They land up into sickness. They land up into psychological problems, sickness which any doctors cannot find out in the medical arena. They have that kind of sickness and doctors doesn't know what kind of medicine to be given. The child is slowly dying because of the father and mother's fight. Two armies fighting, husband and wife fighting, father and mother fighting is one large fight which creates an army that commits suicide, that make the child to commit suicide slow and steady. Is that not cannibalism? And the same happening in the political parties. Two parties, ruling party and opposing party. They created the cannibalism. They couldn't come out of the cannibalism feeling. The democracy, what has been practiced is totally wrong. There shouldn't be two parties. Why should there be a ruling party and opposition party? Both in hand and in cloud. In the name of fight. And making people commit suicide. Huge amount of people are committing suicide almost every day or they are dying. Is that not cannibalism by the ruling party and the opposition party? There cannot be two parties. Why? They should have two parties. Why should an opposition oppose the ruling party? Why should the ruling party block the opposition party? Both are working for whom? Both the ruling party and the opposition parties are like father and mother. All for the good of the child, good of the family, to create a joint family. To make sure that the family tree doesn't shake a bit. It stands like a powerful pyramid. In that pyramid you can find only truth. You can find only love. And in that love, you can feel the presence of the power of the nature called rain, water, the power of the nature called the wind and the sunlight. That's why India, the Bharata Desha was known for Surya Namaskar. The world has got disconnected from nature, disconnected from nature. Hence, cannibalists, they're acting, dancing on the dead bodies. Can you believe? In Calcutta, 
there is a nagar called anand nagar the city of joy written by a book city of joy by dominic lapier when i read the book i could understand what dominic lapier is written in what happened in the city of joy is happening in ukraine russia and the nato in the city of joy in calcutta the rickshaw wala spits blood he dies of tb by by vomiting blood because he's bony and the agents who have given him money for the treatment are waiting to carry his dead body so that they can sell it to the medical fraternity in america is there not cannibalism is there not vulture are not the nato and the americans vulture russia vulture they both hand in hand glove two big uh, two armies that fight each other like one large army that commits suicide people are dying on both the sides dying there is no value they do not keep any value such as become the situation Henry Babu said two armies that fight who said Albert Einstein's good friend said two armies that fight each other is like one large army that commits suicide please try the when you commit suicide death when death is happening fear enters nobody likes to stay in that body when the body is committing suicide when you fight with each other your body and your body of your brother and your sister for for a piece of land your body is dying it is committing a suicide and you are not knowing why each part of your body is committing suicide you created cannibalism when it is dying in one part cannibalism happens means when one part of your body dies what happens the worms enters diseases enter they are eating on you it's not cannibalism eating two armies that fight each other is like one large army that commits suicide stop it for god's sake if you wanted to bring down the medical cost if you want to bring down psychological cost please children do not ask for this part is share of your family property there is no share it is yours you came from the body of your father and mother together not to commit suicide but the two armies the father and mother army was joined together to create you out of love not out of fight out of love when you are created it is your duty to just melt with them if they give you so if they don't give you you understand that you got a power of a thousand men and when you use the power of a thousand men you understand the value of you. if you don't uh, use your value somebody else will use your value please try to understand every part of your body is so precious please try to understand that preciousness if you don't go give value and you practice and maintain it up you are lost it is like the whole body like a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream in the whole body which the smallest part is not been used it is like pint of shit in a cup of vanilla it is like tech is not a drop to be wasted if you know to waste one one smallest hole in the big vessel the whole vessel starts leaking now you don't get anything only burnt food when a small hole in the crack in the building the whole building finishes because water enters and destroys the building very fast try to be together like the father and mother like the our indian father and mother like our indian family that the father and mother is really love in that love they have only really a love child which grow, grows like a thousand man warrior and tries to make sure that we wipe out more tears and bring down hunger in that love the child goes and tells the temples that the temple should have solar and rain water harvesting they will not enter they will not send any child to any school which refuses to have solar lights and rain water how the school which doesn't use rain water and solar they they are not schools they are barbarians two armies beggars cheating you taking your money and buying electricity from outside cheating you and buying water from outside they are agents of devils they are not there to educate you they are not there to love you please try to those are not schools those are not the vidana saudas those are not the hospitals those are not the houses where you 
decide to dwell a man who cannot create a house in rainwater house thing and solar don't enter the house because that house is desert house 